Video games are part of our everyday lives and are extremely popular within society. Video game shops make billions of pounds a year by selling games and consoles to the public. It is a highly successful industry and will continue to thrive with new consoles and games being released constantly. Well, Glasgow and Scotland, I think it's really football games that are the the you know the biggest sellers, uh -huh. uh, and also the, the the first person shooters are very very popular, yeah. like Call of Duty. Mostly kind of like strategy games. I've, I mean, right now I'm playing like Civilization. Team Fortress 2, and uh, I've been playing Batman Arkham Asylum and stuff like that, like PC games. Call of Duty, I've been playing at the moment. Um, FIFA 10. Um, play a bunch of old strategy games like. Um, Age of Empires and stuff like that. I mainly play Jap RPGs or RTS games. Eight out of ten homes have a video games console, ranging from the classic Nintendo SNES to the modern Nintendo Wii. What's the most popular? The Xbox 360 is is the uh, top selling console, but Sony's PS3 is catching up. I've quite a few on the older ones on like Nintendo 64, PlayStation. I've got a PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii. I want a PS3, PS2, PS1, uh, and a PC. PlayStation 2 and the Wii. But gaming has a danger side that society isn't fully aware of. I mean, there's a negative side to it as well, I suppose. I mean, you know, I've spent, I'd spent, I say, you know, I've missed out on things in life where. I've been addicted and hooked. Some people play games too much. How often do you play? A couple of hours every night, usually. So. Probably say a couple of times a week at best. It could be two, three hours a day, probably, I'd end up spending. I play games about five hours a night. Video game addicts is it's not really a defined diagnosis yet of video game addicts. You know, there isn't a real video game addiction. I think they call it a video game overusage. Where people become isolated, people do become, they do show classic signs of addiction, uh, they do become withdrawn, uh, they will not speak to family members, they will, their whole life then becomes a video game, their whole achievement becomes a video game, they don't live in the real world, so to speak. Hello? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, I'm ill today, sorry. Yeah, I should be back in tomorrow. Okay. Right, thank you. Right, bye. In 2005, a 28 year old Korean man died in his home of heart failure after spending 50 hours playing an online game called StarCraft. My opinion on game addictions is kind of. I'd say it's based around basically me be having been addicted to computer games since about the age of six. Um, I've spent, you know, I'm 23 now and I've spent all the years since playing computer games sort of on an almost daily basis for maybe like two hours a day or something like that. You need to know when to go off, have a look outside, enjoy the day. You know, on the news about people who like die playing games and stuff who play too much, but I don't see a lot of it personally. I mean, most of the people I know they don't really get addicted as such, but um, I think it's something that people need to pay attention to. I mean, see that people do play a lot of time, spend a lot of time on these things, so. I don't know, I just kind of zone out when I'm playing. It's like, it's like my real life when I'm playing. It's, it's the only place I kind of get happiness, but it's when I'm, I'm in this world because like, you don't have the troubles of life and people getting you down. It's like you're just playing with friends constantly. It's also sort of more conventional um, online games like uh, Modern Warfare 2, for example, which I actually had to get rid of because it was affecting me. <laughs> I was playing it so much that I was walking into a room and I was checking corners and I was thinking, there's going to be a guy there, there's going to be a guy. Something would move off to my right and I'd prime a grenade. So, so his old fiance used to sp he spent 37 hours straight playing a game. I'm sure you can get addicted to it just like anything else. You know, there are people. You see them on the news all the time. But I do get there sometimes for a bit of excitement in life and without joining the army itself, you know, or without becoming a world-renowned adventurer, computer games allow me to do that. I've never really thought about getting help because I don't see it as an illness. Like, I'm just, I'm living my life the way I want to live it and I'm happy.